Hi, I'm David. Welcome to another episode of Changing Times. Our guest is Scott Gavin. He owns Party Central. Please enjoy and stay safe. Hi, Scott. How's everything going? Yeah, hi, David. Yeah, everything's going good. Um, keeping busy. So, yeah, during the lockdown especially, it's uh, not been too bad for us, really. Yeah. So, for everyone that's watching, tell everyone what is your business, what do you do, and how would people know about you? Okay, so my business is a Party Central Entertainment Limited. So we do exotic animal visits, we come out to schools and do educational visits. Uh, we go to parties, fun days, charity events. We do a lot of TV work and photo shoots with them. Uh, we also do entertainment sides of the business, so we do face painters, mascots, bounty castles, fair rides, uh, fun food machines, etc. Um, I originally set it up on telly, um, so a lot of people will know me from there anyway. Um, we've obviously got all the social media pages and we've got a website as well, if anyone wants to have a look at them. So obviously with the whole pandemic and, and lockdown and everything, how has that impacted the business? Uh, the lockdown, yeah, it's, it's definitely impacted it in a bad way. I mean, we've, we've had a, a huge money loss. Um, the only thing we've been able to do is the bouncy castles, and we only started doing them about three weeks ago. So until up and say about two months, we weren't knowing from at all. Lucky enough, I had a bit put away. Um, obviously, there's been no help offered to self-employees at all, other than loans, which I'm not prepared to do. Um, other, yeah, I mean, it's 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 impacted us in a bad way, but we've we've managed to get through it. Yeah, um, we're nearly out the other side now. So, as far as like obviously with the the animal side of the business and everything. How has that been? Obviously, you still got you still got to look after the animals, and and obviously you said there has been cancellations and losses and everything. How has that impacted on you and the family? Yeah, I mean, obviously the animals cost a lot of money to look after. Um, I always have money away for the rainy day. Um, I wasn't expecting a rainy day to go on for three months, but yeah, I mean they've they've been okay, you know. Um, I see it to be better if we've had a lot more money coming in. Yeah. But the, the, I, I both buy in food, you see, for them. And I have freezers. So we already had a lot of food in before the lockdown, which which was a big help. Um, and as other than uh, getting the bounce castles back up and running, that's 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 really helped us a lot. Um, you know, we get four castles out a day, and they've been going out every day. Um, so we've earned a good, a, a good amount of money on them to, yeah. to cover everything. Yeah. But I mean, there's going to be a lot of businesses in the same situation as me, my same business as me, they're going to be well affected yeah. because they unfortunately didn't have other things they could do to earn money, whereas I did, so. That's it, isn't it? And a lot of businesses that we're talking to and everything have been able to adapt their business or concentrate on one aspect of their business. So how is... Obviously, you've got the bouncy castles out and everything, and luckily we've had the weather to do that and everything. But have you been able to reflect on on the business of before lockdown and we got it to because it was really successful going strong and then actually all this. Have you been able to reflect on all that now? Do you know, I have, um, I think it's been a good thing, to be honest, because I've sat back and I, I've looked at how I was running it, at the way I was running it, and I've reflected on certain things and I've, I've altered certain ways of the way I was running it to the way I am now. Yeah. And it's working a lot better. Now, obviously, I haven't been doing bookings the last, this last three days. I think I've had about 15 animal bookings in in the last three days to, to do in the next few weeks once, it, once I'm allowed to, yeah. which is great. But um, I, I, I've managed to actually spend more time looking at how I'm running it rather than running it with the lockdown. So it's actually worked out a bit better for me. 
but that's it. People, it's giving people time to to stop and think and how they continue the business. Do you think you're going to be changing the way you run it and your your time towards everything now going forward? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm definitely. Um, there's definitely things I'm going to be changing. Um, it's just simple things like uh, I mean, obviously, we always take out obviously cleaning products for us anyway. Obviously, working with exotic animals, you don't, you know, if they, um, they, we all poo on one of the customers, you've got to be able to clean them. Um, but I think uh, I think the likes of PPE, like wearing gloves, the staff, I'm going to make sure the staff keep wearing them uh, permanently now. Um, and we've uh, actually built, we've uh, had pop-up, pop-up banners designed with rules and regulations on it, do's and don'ts, uh, where we never had them before. So we, we've now added a lot of safety procedures to it, uh, protection procedures um, for cr- cross-contamination more than anything. Uh, I, yeah, I think uh, I, the lockdown's done us really well, where it's yeah. managed to go back and change things that I, when I was too busy to look at before. Yeah. Do you, are, do you, are you expecting that the way your parties are run now, with, especially with the animals and the close, the close contact that was normally in place, do you find that's going to be different now? Because obviously with all this social distance and, and everything else, do you find that's going to make a big impact on, on bookings and people booking you? Absolutely, it is. Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to make an impact on it for the simple reason: the visits we do, they give a fully interaction, uh, interactional visit. So you get up close and personal with animals that you only see on TV or in a zoo. You can't, other than looking at them. We offer a full full interaction, so you can hold them, cuddle some of them, play with them. Now it's going to be so hard to do because at the minute, even if we can still go out with them. We're not going to be able to interact with them. So we're only going to be able to stand there and show them to the people, which some people might be happy with. Um, we may be able to get away with, say, the meerkats and the skunks, but we might be able to put them on the floor and step back and they'll run over to the customer rather than us interacting in that way. Yeah. So we can do it that way with some of the animals. Um, and that way we humans aren't interacting with each other in a way. Uh, it's going to affect us. Yeah, it's going to definitely um, affect bookings. I think maybe in the next six weeks when it eases up a lot, I think that then it's going to be good. Until then, I think we're going to still, yeah, yeah, it's not going to be, not going to be the best. But the main thing that is you've, t- you've taken away a lot of positives, and I think it that's down. Obviously, that's down to the time that you've got now, but. Do you find that because now you've got a clear understanding of the how the business is running and how you want it to run? But obviously the, the attitude for everyone has changed of how they want their business to be done. And now people got the chance. Do you feel that's going to be an impact on you and the way you think? Yeah, I think, I think it's going to be a, a lot better for us in that sense. Of from now on, the way I'm I'm looking at it now is a different way, a better way. It's going to impact us in a good way, I think. Once it's up and running properly, um, it's going to take a while until we can use that and put it in force. But yeah, I think the way I've managed to be able to reflect on things and change things and alter things now will be a better impact. Yeah. Once lockdown's completely gone, yeah. As far as obviously you've got staff and everything, how have they been coping with that? How have you, as a business owner, been dealing with that side to it? And are you going to be implementing training, obviously, with all the whole PPE and new guidelines and stuff? Yeah, so basically, um, once the government sends us the uh, PPE guidelines and protection, uh, what we need to buy and what we need to do and how we need to work it. Um, I'll get my three main staff here, my three main animal handlers. They'll come here and that way I'm not breaking any guideline rules because there's only three people not, and we're allowed six at the minute. So what I'll do is I'll teach them three. And each three, them three, I've got two volunteers each. 
So once they're taught, they'll go away and they'll go and meet their two volunteers each. So the six volunteers will get trained by the three staff. Yeah. So that way we'll keep in guidelines with um, the PPE protection side things. They'll learn it all that way and it'll go on from there. It's Yeah, it's just going to be stressful, isn't it? I mean, obviously they've had a bad time as well. They're self-employed too. Um, my staff and subcontracted some of them. Um, there's about, I think we've got six, six volunteers, three staff, eight subcontractors. So it, it's affected everyone. It's, it's been a, a pyramid effect, really, on everyone. But lucky enough, they're all, they've all got through it. Um, and hopefully good times are back ahead. Exactly. Um, obviously, we all want to concentrate on what's to come. So what have you got planned for the future with the business, with yourself and everything that is around yourselves? So what we've done now is we've decided to really go for it and expand in a big way. So we've started, a, I've started buying animals for farmyard visits. So basically I'll have uh, rabbits, guinea pigs, uh, ducks, uh, pygmy goats, um, and we'll have them going out to fun days and school events, and we'll have a little cage around them so you can go in and play with them and stuff. Um, we're going to get donkeys and do donkey eyes too. But the biggest one, the biggest uh, change we're doing is I've just just about to sign for three acres of land to set me up my own zoo up. So we're going for it this year really well. Yeah, yeah. so uh, hopefully by next year I'll be opening a zoo. I'll have the doors open. So everyone will be uh, certainly queuing up and, and waiting to see that. Yeah, for a full full fun day out. Yeah, so was in that Liverpool always, as well. Was that always the plan? And is that the as long as that came into fruition because you've had more time of concentrating, or is that always been a plan to do? Uh, no, it's always been the plan. But because of the lockdown, I've had more time to spend looking for land. Land was not easy to find at all. I mean, I've been, I had the councils approving me of land, offering me lands, and then all of a sudden they decided to just, they didn't want to help anymore. Uh, I had other people sat looking for lands for me, other organisations, and it just, just didn't work. It just, for about three or four years now, it's just constantly been dismissed and knocked back. So because of the lockdown, I've had more time to, to search, and I've, I've came across two now, but I've picked, I've, I've picked one so once the lockdown's over properly in the next few weeks and he comes back over off, off holiday well where he lives in Spain he's got the land over here so we're going to sign the contracts in a few weeks hopefully we get the ball rolling That's amazing and for everyone that wants to find yourselves Party Central and and book you and find and keep up to date with you which way do you that way can we find you? Okay so you can find us on Facebook at Party Central Entertainment Limited. We're also on Instagram and Twitter, uh, Scott Gavin or Party Central. Uh, my website is www.partyentertainmentmerseyside.com. It's uh, not UK, sorry. <laughs> I've got that many. Um, we're on LinkedIn as well. So, yeah, um, it's, it's pretty easy. If you just type in Animal Visits Merseyside, we pop up. So, or even you can just type my name into the search bar and on um, social media, and I pop up straight away. So that's amazing. What we'll do is we'll put all the links on the Facebook and on the video and on our YouTube, so everyone can find you um, to make sure you can get it. How has it been for the family in lockdown? Have you all enjoyed that time of? Uh, are you are you the teacher in the in the house? Uh, as a family in lockdown, it's there's been stressful times. Obviously, six kids in the house, but it's not been too bad to be honest with you. Because the weather's been really nice, we've been managing to sit in the back garden, and we've been obviously putting a bounce, a bounce castle up or water slides up or a hot tub. So yeah, we've had yeah, it's it's not been too bad as a family. We've probably got a little bit closer. And they probably respect each other's space a little bit more now as well. Um, obviously, we do a bit of education, obviously, because my job is education. I've constantly got documentaries on anyway or something like that. So, yeah, it's been a bit of education going on as well. And girls have learned how to do some cooking and 
Ja, 64. Good afternoon, and I think especially with what you do with the animal, because you don't just take on the parties and, and you, 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 you house them, you, you look after them, and they're not just a, a, a sales pitch, are they? No, no, they're, they're, they're obviously, a, it's a big passion of mine. I, I actually own a rescue called Rockets Exotic Animal Rescue. So obviously we take in animals, that, exotic animals that have been neglected or dumped or, and I, I pay out my own pocket. I don't actually uh, ask for donations for the, for the rescue. Uh, I actually just pay for it myself. So I, I, I just look after them and um, obviously I either find them nice new homes once they're healthy or I keep them. Okay, and, um, thank you so much, God, for being a part of Changing Hands and doing this and sharing your story. Uh, no problem. Thanks for having us, David. No, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. See you soon.